Is this the worst idea we've ever had? Are we about to find out why nobody puts a bug body on a side-by-side? -side? Did we completely ruin a 2019 Can-Am Maverick X3, two VW Beetles, innumerable Sawzall blades, an entire week, and our health for no reason? Or is this the most glorious thing either of us have ever built? We finished this thing last night and wheeled it out here to Winrock Park in Oliver Springs, Tennessee this morning. And as you can tell, it is far from finished. We realized we need more body mounts. There's no glass. The roof looks looks like there's not a polite word for what the roof looks like. We've got a lot to wrap up, but we could not resist the chance to come out here and play around and find out exactly what else this thing needs. Underneath the bug is a 2019 Can-Am Maverick X3 X RS Turbo RR, and on top is one and a half Volkswagen Beetles. The bugs were junk when we got them. We paid less than a thousand dollars for both of them. And then we started cutting. And welding, and cutting some more, and measuring, and then realizing we were bad at measuring, and then cutting some more. And in three days, we wound up with, uh, with this. It's part side-by-side, -side, part Baja bug, part rust. It's bigger and badder, and as I'm finding out, worse in almost every way. This week, we have a crazy deadline. We have got to shoot two videos, both including a promo for Cardo, and they have to include the Mav-R. The only problem with that is the Mav-R is in Texas, and we're in Tennessee. As you may recall, I rolled the Mav-R in Arizona and crushed the cage, which meant we had to get a new cage built by the guys down at Thumper Fab in Marshall, Texas. Those two videos have have to be done by Friday and they have to include the Mavr. We've got to drive 742 miles today, get down there, pick up the Mavr, drive 742 miles back so we can meet Aaron. Except no substitute. To get those videos shot. And we're gonna cover all those miles in this. And it's great, usually. Just started dumping coolant. It's a radiator, Bob. Radiator acquired. The ratings on this are not great. Like two out of five. This is a zero out of five. We're looking up. Let's go to Texas. Why is there a moose? Texas! It is a rainy day here in Marshall, Texas, but we made it. And we are here to pick up our Mav R from Thumper Fab. It looks awesome. They say, holy yeah. crap, man. This thing looks <laughs> awesome. Talk to me about what you got up to here, dude. This looks a little bit stouter than factory. Right off the bat, you can tell it's just a much more aggressive look yeah. overall. Typical lowbrow look. We got rid of that factory Can-Am hump that's kind of in the middle of the stock cage. Went back all with DOM tubing. Had a little bit more bracing front and rear. Why? Why? Uh, well, I mean, just history. That's fair. <laughs> so front intrusion bars on the on the windshield, intrusion bars on the roof, <laughs> intrusion bars on the rear, some extra shock tower bracing bars oh, in the great. back. We are very well braced. Slick new bumper too. Yeah. With the tie down still integrated, that's slick. We like that. You guys did an awesome job matching that factory yellow too. That thing looks awesome. We also got a roof up here with a sunroof. That's super slick. It's a nice touch. Yeah. You can do a little stargazing at night. You know, same with the billet grab handles. I mean, this is the bling factor, but <laughs> it looks good, dude. Something to tie it in and like just really make it unique. And it makes it easier to get in and out too. And plus, we really needed this really large brace right here to make sure the cage was properly braced. <laughs> So I was like, well, we're going to make that make that look a little better. Uh-huh. I see you got provisions <laughs> for light bars here up front. We've got different mounts. Super easy to put the light bar you want on it. And this is not a custom job, right? Somebody can come to you and order this sucker up. We have options. Yeah. We just throw it into, into the laser, hit print, and start building the cage. So about how long can somebody expect to wait if they place an order today for one of these? Typically, our cages are about two to three weeks to get them built. Custom colors take a little bit longer. And we've got to ask, what's it cost? It can go from mild to wild. On this cage, we're right at about $2,500, so. Dude, that is a screaming deal. Pick up the phone, jump on our website, thumperfab.com. We also have a great dealer network. We have over 500 dealers across the country. Wow. So all of those are installing dealers. They'll be happy to talk to you. Give us a ring and we'll help build one. Well, dude, I can't say thanks enough. I am so glad to have this machine back. <laughs> I've been itching to not roll it again. Uh, we fully anticipate some good video, so. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get back to Knoxville to meet Aaron so we can get these two sponsor videos shot. Let's get this thing on the trailer and get out of here. Oh, wet butt. <laughs> Zach, what the hell? Look, uh, I think it's gonna be fine. I think. <laughs> Wait, no, before you go to that. This morning I came down here yes. to help you yes. uh, film two videos. Yes. 
What was the issue with that? One of them required the use of our X3, which I took apart. You might remember that. Yeah, now I do. And also there seem to be multiplying bugs here. What are we... Yeah, so I'm gonna put the bug body. Did you not watch our videos? I just want you to explain it to me. Okay, so I'm gonna put these on that. Okay. The X3 is 10 inches wider than the bug is. So we've got to cut some metal out of this one. We got to cut this one in half, hot dog style, widen it. We're going to put this metal in that metal. Six months worth of work? Yeah, if you're going to do it right. When do we need it done? Like by Friday. It's now and like I, Yeah, I wish that was manufactured. I wish that like we were like, oh my God, if we don't get it done, you know? But yeah, I screwed up. All that being said, uh, what do we need to do now? I think we start by you figuring out how to get the body off the skateboard. I'm gonna see about rigging up some sort of structure for the inside of this thing so when okay. we cut it apart, it doesn't fall apart. Okay. Let's do it. All right, let's get going. How do you get a VW bug body off the skateboard? Are you serious? I've made a discovery. Somebody booger welded the seats in. <laughs> Did they come off the rails? <laughs> I'm booger welded. Yikes. Hey. I mean, yeah. Worth every penny. Yeah. yeah. It's there are Volkswagen people yelling at us right now. It's very rusty. Let's get out the implements of destruction. <laughs> that might have poo on it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I found a quarter. <laughs> Zach finds pennies. I find quarter in a snake. Yeah, that tracks, actually. All right. Just uh, catalog that. You know, you leave something outside for this much time, it just doesn't move anymore. There we go. Yee. Shapes. Shape. You know how I got a D in geometry? I'm not even being facetious, I got a D in geometry. <laughs> They're just they welded just went to at them, didn't they? I hate to say it might be factory. I think that's just a repair. That is not factory. <laughs> I don't know if you've met a German man. He would rather kill himself than make that happen. Make what? progress. I mean, all of this is going to have to come out anyway. No, I, I want to keep these because they're what tie most of this together. No, let's try to actually take it apart, I think. Yeah, why? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm. You I put up a real fight there. <laughs> Smelling what you're stepping in. I found a YouTube video about this. I just haven't watched it. Oh god, the horrors. It is grim down here. There we go. It'll shock you to learn that somebody bottomed that thing the heck out in like a lot of Georgia clay. What you're gonna want to do before you start taking the tub off of your Baja bug is clean it good so you can see the body bolts. There are like a half a dozen body bolts running down this uh, channel here. Back in the day, some of the guys realized you could delete those for speed. This is a high performance machine and in a high performance application, you don't want but one or two of these guys weighing you down. Class is heavy and I am weak. Well, this was somebody's pride and joy once. Maybe not, maybe they were like, oh God, I had to buy the bug. Crawl in there and give me a little pressure on this here glace. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I did it <laughs> with my mind. Doors can probably come off. The hinges are these big Phillips head guys. I've got an impact driver in there. Impact driver. Is it turning? No. <laughs> Do you have it turned to loosen? Yeah, it do. Have you, have you thought about checking yourself before you wreck yourself? Fix there. it. <laughs> so it's a spiral. So when you hit it, it needs to go the way you want it to go. So you turn it to loosen. There she goes. Turn to loosen and smack like you mean it. See, this is educational. <laughs> this is educational. It should go without saying, don't try this at home. We're idiots trained in nothing. We are essentially monkeys with hammers. One of these no longer has a head. Hmm. All right, Aaron, go ahead and put those top two screws back in and uh, we'll leave the doors on. Okay. How's that sound? <laughs> How's that grab you, bud? <laughs> Where did those screws go? <laughs> I will say, on a serious note, you can see why people spent the last three quarters of a century hammering these things apart and putting them back together and yeah, doing all kinds of, this is the perfect thing to do this with. Yes, and also. If it wasn't insanely rusty, it would be Legos. Takes up no space. You can throw like a million of them in an garage. Beatles is a gateway drug. Pick your fighter. <laughs> I'll try Sawzall. We'll go to the death wheel if we have to. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. we got this. Don't Back go. pain, we'll be good to go. That's cool. I might actually use this. Aaron spends 80 minutes trying to get two seats out and Zach's got the tub pretty much off. Is this thing full of gas? Yes. <clears throat> got it. Magical. Oh yes, the old gas delete mod. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you could seal a deck with that. 
I'm working on taking apart the steering linkage. Aaron is getting the seats up. Like that for? <laughs> Am I cutting between the rail? <laughs> I wonder why it was taking so long. Okay, okay. Hey! I did it. <laughs> Got it. Got a hole in your floor? <laughs> Piece of angle iron. <laughs> The ape is angry. <laughs> what does it want? <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to cut through here. Sawzall will take that right off. It'll stink, but it'll do it. It'll stink. That's yeah, broken now. There's like welding wire and tobacco juice. A redneck was here. All right, uh, we're filthy. Yeah. Okay, good talk. <laughs> all right, so we got the driver's seat removed from that, bailed on the other one because we got all the body bolts out and it seems like... I think we can just hook the shell to the gantry crane and then just lift it up like we did with the other one. We're not done cutting by no. a lot. Oh yeah, we I should probably 600 sweep 600 pounds of Georgia to clean up. Sweep Georgia out of here. You know, I thought cars from the south didn't really rust. That one did and I breathed a lot of it. This means you're not anemic anymore. Make you push that thing by yourself like I had to. Looking at this one, which we maybe should have done, it appears the seats come off the rails and the rails are just affixed to the pan. Look at that. So I probably didn't need to sawzall out a large portion of the floor. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. I need help. She ain't heavy. She's just awkward, you know. One, two. Oh, yeah. Who disconnected the steering? <laughs> Up over the fence. Woo! The bond! That tells me this is not this bug's first off road experience. <laughs> Doing the Lord's work steering wheel. <laughs> Don't hit the bug. <laughs> We're lined up now. Hell yeah. Straighten her out. Well, first I'm gonna start by snapping my other ACL. You got to, for, you know, a reason. <laughs> we coughed up a lung. Beautiful. What I love about this is like, you get into like, cut it mode, and then you realize like, some of this we actually want. <laughs> Boys, I'm starting to think we got sold a bill of goods. <laughs> How the hell does this work? One goes up and one goes down. All right, slowly up. Ain't got no other speed. <laughs> oh, this crane does the Lord's work. Bang. <laughs> All right, keep going. <laughs> Johnny Danglebug. Okay. What, like an eighth of the way there? I don't know what that was, but it's not there now. It is day two and here is the sit rep. We have the bug, uh, well, it's not really a bug anymore, is it? Got the floor pans cut out. We got the body off the skateboard. Basically, we're going to need just the shell to sit on the Can-Am. So we've been trying reasonably carefully to cut everything else out that we don't need. The plan is to saw the bug in half so that we can section it and make it wide enough to sit down on top of the Can-Am. We've made a bunch of measurements of where to cut we are reasonably sure that this will split the bug directly in half now in order to cut the bug in half and expect any amount of precision we're going to need something holding the body together while we make the cut and that's where this box section steel tube comes in i am going to cut five lengths of this to 60 inches and then we're going to weld it into the bug body so that when we cut it it doesn't just flop open. Then we'll remove these, widen the bug, and tack in the extra roof skin that we're gonna need. All right, so while Aaron's uh, chopping up a bunch of tube steel, I'm gonna come over here and weld these supports to the tub, brace these things. I'm gonna get started at that. Aaron's gonna try not to cut off his thumb. Not very hard. <laughs> When you gotta make 60 inch cuts and you got 120 inch pieces of steel, boy, you get two in one. Road thoughts. <laughs> With urn. Again, D and geometry. Try not Three. to set my ground on fire again oh, like I did on. yesterday. I what mean, are uh, you, McFly, chicken? Check out my butt. Mooey skookum, baby. Mooey skookum. We majored in what we majored in so we wouldn't have to be ditch diggers. Arch tongue, baby. Ooh. I said arch tongue. Getting wiggly in here, huh? 13 inches. That's what we gotta add here. Yeah, man. I've been saying that my whole life. This week on UTV Driver, we find out how bad our mistakes are. 
Hope you enjoyed paying for college. It was cheap for me. Loser cuts. One, two, three, shoot. <laughs> Slide it. Gently. Ooh, God. This is the worst idea <laughs> I have ever had. Yeah, yeah, we gotta put metal back in. Right. So that's what the other 69 was for. Mama just killed a bug. <laughs> We'll start tacking on this side, and then I'll figure out how to make up the gap over there. How's that sound? Did it! <laughs> <laughs> Number one, it's hilarious. It's cut so much material out of this, and I mean, it's not, it's not made super skook of metal. <laughs> I mean, it's probably 50 pounds heavier than the Rops. Yeah, Hell Week is over. Hell Week is over. For two dudes who never did this before, starting on a <laughs> Wednesday, and it's Friday <laughs> of the same week? Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna see this thing at Barrett Jackson anytime soon, but I no. think for the likes of us, like, good enough for the girls we date, as they say. <laughs> Point is, we have this victory. We built a, the Bahaiest of bugs. Yes, the Baha bug. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, you're going to be driving the bug, and we have brought along the generous support of Cardo Systems, who agreed to sponsor this madness. Fools. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they were kind enough to send us their PackTalk Edge ORV communicators and their Edge phones. That should let us stay in contact throughout the ride. The PackTalk Edge ORV goes in your helmet and installs without any tools. We've also got Cardo's Edge Phones ORV, which you wear just like any headphones when you aren't wearing a helmet. Both the PackTalk and the Edge phones are wireless, which means you're not tethered to your rig. The intercoms feature dynamic mesh communication, which lets you connect up to 15 comms. The communicators can reach up to a mile between two rigs, but they can go up to five miles if you've got a big enough ride group. Now the Cardos are line of sight, which means you have to keep your buddies in view, but if you get dropped, they will automatically reconnect you when you're back in range. Another cool thing is Cardo's natural voice technology. That means once the unit is on, you just give voice commands and you don't have to worry about pushing any buttons. You could say, hey Cardo, music on. And you can also connect with Hey Siri and OK Google so you can use it just like you would with your phone. They're also IP67 mud, dust, and waterproof, which out here is super important. Both have JBL speakers and one-way directional mics, which really cut out engine and wind noise. They're also really clever. They have audio mixing, which means you can have your GPS running, your music, and the intercom all going at the same time, and the Cardo switches seamlessly between all of them. The music volume will automatically drop when someone speaks, so you never miss a direction. They're also powered by the Cardo Connect app, which has over-the-air updates. It can adjust mic sensitivity, it stores JBL audio profiles, and it does audio recording for content creation, which is great for guys like us. And the best for last, they're giving you a 10% discount just for watching this video. Hit the link in the description below. Aaron, these things are going to be incredibly handy because this thing is loud, and also I can't see out of it, so I fully expect you to be out of the rig spotting me over some obstacles. Let's do it. <laughs> Hold on before you... Oh, okay, or not. <laughs> I don't know how many more she has in her. I mean, that feels skookum. This does yeah. not feel skookum. Oh God, it got worse. Old fast, baby. I like it dirty. You gotta let them know. If there is a God, they are very much not part of this. Sitting up there thinking, why did I give these morons free will? Come on, cool her off a little bit. We Ooh. made it. Back to the trailer. We did. That's <laughs> Arguably the most important part of any ride is getting home again, and the bug made it, despite all odds. Yeah, we've broken a lot more welds, uh, yeah. which is not surprising, since my welding is basically hot gluing. But we learned things. Yeah, proof of concept, and the concept yeah. is, it's rad. People have yeah. been absolutely losing their minds about this thing. We had one guy walk up, and when Aaron told him that it, three days ago it was a bug, you should have seen the look on his face. Yeah. It looked like Aaron had just punched him. It was yep. excellent. All right, so let's go over some of the things we discovered that we think we need. A driver's side A-pillar that's attached to the frame rail. Yeah, okay. So some light restoration work. Yeah, more bracing here and there. Mm -hmm. Inner fenders work pretty high on my list. Yeah, lots of stuff in the face. You still get that in a regular Can-Am, but it sort of channels it out. Mm -hmm. The bug tends to channel it in. To your teeth. And then after that? Tail lights. Nearly tail got rear-ended once. That was cool. License plates? 
Yeah, license plates, maybe a windshield. I don't know. I'm not even sold on the windshield, honestly. No, I don't think so. Uh, what about one of those like dirt track expanded metal meshes? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm here for that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All, right. All right. It needs a few little things, but nothing major. Once those are solved, we leave it alone. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, that we're not gonna paint it. We're not gonna. No, gonna we're not gonna paint it. We're not gonna. We might some off-road lights or you know some cool period-looking stuff, but otherwise, I think we're dialed. Stay tuned. We're gonna keep working on this thing as the weeks move forward. In the meantime, you can check us out over at utvdriver.com or on this channel. We'll see you there.